is rejection? Rejection is the dismissing or refusing of an idea or proposition. It's an assessment, it's a critique, it's a response. In other words, rejection is a feedback. My name is Tristan Watkins, you're watching TriFlix Tips, and this is four ways of dealing with rejection. First off, you're probably wondering who does this even apply to? Well, thanks to something called free will, anybody that's ever pitched an idea has put themselves out there, and the person that they were asking has the ability, thanks to free will, to reject that idea. That's pretty much it, and it applies to everyone, whether you're pitching a film or you are trying to fit in with a group of people or talking to a girl. Essentially, whenever you're offering yourself to someone else's judgment, you're exposing yourself to their feedback. So go ahead and pick your scenario and let's begin. The first step to dealing with the rejection is listening. Ask the person why they answered the way they did and let them know that you want the honest answer. The whole point of this is that you can improve yourself. So don't try to debate them on why their opinion's wrong. Take it for what it is and listen. Step two, analyze. Now, try your best to objectively sift through everything that that individual had to say and see if there's any validity to it. See if there's any way that you can incorporate what they have to say and better yourself. Maybe that A-list idea for a movie you had wasn't necessarily as good as you thought it was. Maybe that group of people you're trying to hang out with, you just kind of lack the social skills. And maybe that girl you're trying to get with you just don't have the emotional capacity to maintain a long-lasting and fruitful relationship like myself. I'm just kidding, but I am single. Step three, apply it. Once you've analyzed pretty objectively what's valid and helpful, try to incorporate that in your life. Maybe your short film wasn't nearly as good as you thought it was. Take some writing classes, revise it a little bit. That group of people you wanna hang out with and you're kinda not fitting in, maybe take some speech classes and sociology, learn how to deal with people, uh, try to interact with them. But you know what? Maybe they're not the group for you. Try to find people with similar hobbies and interests. As for the woman thing, um, maybe you're a little bit cheap. Try to find a woman with realistic expectations. That's a joke, because none of them do. That's also a joke. Women are great. I love women. Maybe you should just try to be more selfless. <laughs> My mom's gonna bah, bah, bah. You know what I'm saying? Like MMA, like green screen right now. MMA. Bang! Bang! That's that's me in the air. Bang! And I'm gonna be like, Ooh. Do, do, do. I don't know if that was funny. I thought it was a little bit funny. Step four is both the most important and the most difficult step, and that is moving on. A lot of people have no problem separating the good from the bad and applying the good to their life, but a lot of people still hold on to that negativity. And the thing about rejection is no matter how painful it is, there's a little bit of truth to it, whether it's someone being rude and critical or uh, some group of people being very judgmental or an ex just not being very nice. There's truth to what they're saying, a little bit. You gotta push away all that negativity, take that truth and plant it, and that's where you're gonna see the growth. But if you hold on to that negativity, it's toxic and it will prevent that growth and you won't develop nearly as well as you could if you just let it go. So guys, follow this advice and I guarantee you'll see growth in your own life and growth is the key to success. My name is Tristan Watkins, this is TriFlix Tips and if you enjoyed this video, I hope to see you again. Uh, side note, I like to promote channels that I think are doing well or you guys might benefit from. So obviously, myself, we upload videos three days a week. Uh, Monday is entertaining such as films and uh, tech videos. Wednesdays are educational like this tip video and Fridays I believe are more inspirational like the vlogs. Uh, in the middle is actually going to be Indie Mogul. This is the channel that I made this video initially for. It's kind of like a collaboration sort of thing for their Saturday morning specials. And down below is a comedy sketch team, Elite Lens Films. Really good friend of mine. They make a lot of funny stuff. I hope you guys enjoy it. And then here's probably a video. Bye.